outdoor adventures, a thriving artist community, fun restaurants, shops, and events, they call it the City on the Kinney. We call it a perfect place to vacation. Today, we're taking you to River Falls as we discover Wisconsin. Hello and welcome to Discover Wisconsin. This is an anthem For those who look for more And now we say they've seen it all Windows down Let's take a ride The cold lands Tonight What a beautiful day. We're here on the Kinney in River Falls, a blue ribbon trout stream and kayaking destination. Nature, everything you need, far from civilization. Not that far. The Kinney runs right through River Falls. So if you love the outdoors, kayaking, fishing, but you want great restaurants and shops too, this is the place to be. Today, we discover River Falls. Just 30 minutes from Minneapolis, St. Paul, River Falls is in Northwest Wisconsin along I-94. The Kinnikinnick River, locally known as the Kinney, runs right through town. Home to the University of Wisconsin River Falls, the city on the Kinney provides the perfect combination of outdoor activities, cultural events, and hometown charm. And yes, there are indeed falls in River Falls. Check out this view on the south end of town. It's near the iconic Swinging Bridge, where you can watch the South Fork Rapids as they enter the Kinney, River Falls' greatest resource which leads to our first adventure, kayaking with Mike Keeley, owner of River Guide Kayaks. Whether you're a beginner who needs an easy stretch of the Kinney for a mere 45 minutes, or an advanced kayaker ready for a challenge taking more than six hours on the water, the Kinney offers beautiful scenic views and wildlife experiences, with or without a guide. One of the first things I noticed about the Kinney was how clean and pure it mm -hmm. is. How do other people react to it? Well, it's the same thing that you just experienced. I mean, people are coming out of Minneapolis, St. Paul, and they're getting a little slice of heaven that's a little bit adventurous for these new beginner kayakers. You know, it's a great float for a beginner kayaker, an, an experienced kayaker like myself. I still enjoy the challenge. You know, it gives us enough with the swift current to kind of have a good time on the river, and it's also great for beginners. You know what, Mariah? This little slice of heaven is great for something else, too. Now, you know where I'm going with this. Can you tell me a bit about the uh, features of the Kinney? Uh, the important features, uh, of course, are the water. It's uh, cold, clean, and clear, uh, which makes it uh, a fantastic trout fishery. Uh, and it's renowned uh, not only throughout the Midwest, but I would say throughout the world uh, for, for trout fishing. The river is uh, outstanding resource water, uh, as designated by the Wisconsin Department of Natural Resources, as well as a class one trout stream. Throughout the Kinney's course, it has uh, several thousand trout, uh, uh, self-sustaining trout, uh, for every mile of river. And so for trout fishermen, uh, the river is uh, 22 miles of smiles. Uh, and uh, any day on the Kinney uh, is a good day for trout fishermen. You know, that's always been my philosophy too. As an avid fly fisherman, I'm up for fishing every day. If you're interested in fly fishing in River Falls, make your first stop Lund's Fly Shop on Main Street, where you can get all rigged up with all the gear you need, a license, right. and find out where the best easy to get to places are located on the water. So tell me about the shop here and your selection and what you offer. Well, our kind of claim to fame is that we have uh, one of the biggest selection of flies anywhere. I mean, it, and flies for everything, not just trout, for, for a lot of warm water stuff, bass and musky. Everything else, you need rod, reel, waders, packs, um, and definitely a lot of stuff for, for beginners to get into the sport. And um, being so close to so many great trout streams, we have a lot of conventional casting gear too for trout fishing, like inline spinners and, and uh, a bunch of other lures that can be used in a trout stream if you don't want to necessarily fly fish. Need a little more guidance? Head over to Kinney Creek Lodge and Outfitters for fly fishing school or to hire a guide. Tell me a little bit about your fishing school. Sure, our fishing schools are uh, actually quite legendary. Okay. They, uh, we produce them uh, generally March, April, May, and June. And then the rest of the season, uh, we also have private lessons throughout the season. 
So um, all the schools are listed on our website each year and you can just call in and make reservations for those. Nice, yeah. nice, nice, nice. We're fishing here and you know, I fly fish a lot, but I find that if you can go with somebody who's got some local knowledge, that's really helpful. Tell me a little bit about why people choose a guide. Yeah, uh, people choose guides for a variety of reasons. Um, one being that they don't know the area, and so they want to be shown where to go and basically be hosted for the day. Sure. Other people choose guides because they want to learn more about casting techniques, fly selection, general uh, trout eating habits, and you know different parts of the river. And so um, there's many, many reasons to hire a, a guide. It looks like I'm in need of a guide today because I've been fishing for a little while and uh, you know we had some rain last night, the water's a bit stained, uh, which really could work in our favor I think today because it's not blown out. Um, I think I'm gonna need some, some of your guide services today. Yeah, That's, right, uh, we, yeah. Can, we can hook you up. Great. Want to learn more about the city on the Kinney? Start by logging on to discoverwisconsin.com and choosing River Falls as your destination. Now don't go away. When we come back, we're biking some incredible trails and Mariah gets a new job at the rodeo. Saddle up for more Discover Wisconsin. Welcome back to Discover Wisconsin as we explore River Falls. If you're an outdoor recreation enthusiast but don't own all the gear you need, UW River Falls has a well-stocked rental facility. Camping gear, bikes, skis, snowshoes, and so much more. Today, we're all about the bikes. So in addition to uh, you know, riding around the city of River Falls, the countryside around is also you know, some really great riding. Because of the dairy industry, we've got paved roads everywhere. Uh, do you have a favorite direction, favorite ride you like to go on? Um, there's so many great routes no matter what direction you head out of town from. Um, there are some designated bike route roads here in the River Falls area, um, but anytime you're riding through the countryside, past cornfields and cows, you um, can't really complain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There just... um, are some group ride options available for road bikes, okay. cyclists, um, a couple different groups that meet throughout the week okay. um, to do rides anywhere from 35 to 55 miles. Oh wow, nice. But if you're into off-roading, River Falls has White Tail Ridge, fast becoming a destination for riders looking for an ever-evolving challenge, full of tight, twisty turns, rocky sections, steep climbs, and fast downhills. Tell me about the trails that we have in the hillsides here. Uh, what we have is we have about 5,200 feet of elevation change, and we have approximately 160 acres that we've built some really nice trails in that are environmentally sustainable, uh, multi-use trails. All human-powered trail, or people on it, it's no motorized vehicles or horses at this time, but uh, the trails that we've worked on, we've continually tweaked and built, and we've just added, actually added a new section in this season. Those are some impressive trails, but I'll tell you what else is impressive in River Falls, the Fighting Fish Amateur Men's Baseball Team and their home, the First National Bank of River Falls Field. So what is it about this ball field that you think would draw you know, both locals and people outside of the town to? Well, it's, it's a small town atmosphere and this field brings something that really nobody around this area in the western part of, of the state that, that has this. And when the guys come here to play, they talk about it as being a, a very unique, um, very realistic experience as if they were playing in the best field conditions that they've ever really played in. Um, the opening night, two, 3,000 people here. Most of these guys have never played in front of a crowd that size. You're almost guaranteed to sit next to somebody friendly that's gonna to wanna to talk to you. Yeah. And it doesn't cost you anything to sit right behind home plate. Yeah. Um, as opposed to going to St. Paul or Minneapolis and get to sit right behind home plate. Here you can sit wherever you want and in the eyes of an eight-year-old, that guy's throwing hard. Doesn't matter if he's throwing 70 miles an hour or 90 miles exactly. an hour. Exactly. It's, it's still high-level baseball and um, it's community-based. Want to know more about baseball and biking in River Falls? 
Go to discoverwisconsin.com and click on the River Falls destination page. When we come back, we're headed to the UW River Falls Falcon Frontier Days Rodeo. Later, it's a tradition bluegrass music lovers look forward to every year. Don't go away. There's more to discover in Wisconsin. We're having a great time in River Falls here on Discover Wisconsin. Welcome to the Falcon Frontier Days Rodeo, brought to you by the University of Wisconsin River Falls Rodeo Club. They were gracious enough to allow me to participate, not as a rider or roper, but as Chappy the Clown's assistant. <laughs> Clowning is serious business because the primary responsibility of a rodeo clown is to distract bulls after a rider falls. Not really my cup of tea. <laughs> the highlight of my evening? Do you want to be a rodeo clown? See that yellow string out there in the middle? I see it. We are going to race. Okay. Do you think you can beat me? Easy. Easy? Easy peasy. Easy peasy, she said. <laughs> All right. On the count of three. Are you? What? Take him out? <laughs> Here we go. Hey, Dolph Wilson. Here we go, Emma. Yes. I also met people like bull rider Zeke Peters, a great name for a cowboy, don't you think? Who noted UW River Falls is known for its College of Agriculture. We're a big egg school, so all the kids enjoy it. Everyone has a great time out here. The town's awesome. Everyone comes to support. We fill up all the stands, and we have a great program here. Great college. Well, the University of Wisconsin River Falls. Oh yes. The next day, I was all over the River Falls Farmers Market and picked up some fresh produce, flowers, and a little something sweet. When you visit, be sure to check out the downtown stores like Function Junction, where you can find repurposed items and antiques. Stop in the nearby Riverwalk Mercantile for an old-fashioned ice cream parlor experience and classic candy collection. Mm. That is good. For lunch, it's the Dish and the Spoon Cafe where you can sit outside on the patio and watch as they make your pizza in an outdoor oven. For fine dining, check out the West Wind Supper Club. Or for a more casual experience, try Bows and Mine, a neighborhood bar and grill. That's where we bumped into the superintendent of the River Falls School District. River Falls is an amazing place to visit for tourists like myself, but also for folks like you who have made River Falls their home. I would agree, you know, the, the things that our community has to offer uh, for the young and the old are immense from the tourist standpoint, the, the fishing, the biking, the hunting, um, the arts and crafts, the many stores and shops, all of those kind of things are, are, are attractions to tourists that, um, you know, I think they, they come here and fall in love with the place, not just because of those attractions, but more so the people that they interact with. I can attest to that just over the last couple days that I've been here. What are some things that you see in the area that just put a smile on your face? Well, I, I would be remiss if I didn't brag about the school district, of course. We've got an outstanding school district. We uh, do a terrific job uh, with uh, academic achievement. We hold high standards, have strong discipline practices, and do, do a lot of great things, create many opportunities for our students, not just from an academic side, but through many of the clubs and organizations and um, sport activities and those kind of things. We experienced the warmth and friendliness of the community when we stopped by Bacon Bash, the festival that celebrates all things bacon, from countless dishes that include bacon to a pig calling contest. <laughs> if you like bacon, and who doesn't, Get yourself to Bacon Bash, the fastest growing bacon festival in the Midwest. We love bacon. Up next, a bluegrass festival you don't want to miss. I'm taking up clogging. Plus, Art on the Kinney, River Falls annual art festival. Stay close. We're in River Falls today on Discover Wisconsin. The thriving art scene in River Falls is showcased every year at Art on the Kinney. 
An art festival beautifully situated along the Kinnikinnick River in the heart of downtown. People come year after year for a look at the latest pieces created by local artists. Well, I think most of all they love the fact that we draw a wonderful variety of artists. I mean, we, we, we have great history of arts right here in the River Falls area with the university, and a lot of those students are still around and help, you know, produce some of the artwork, and they come to our show. But the people know when they come, they're going to see wonderful ceramics, they're going to see great glasswork, they're going to see great paintings. Um, we have uh, fiber work. It's just a tremendous variety of art and reasonably priced. <laughs> a trip to Art on the Kinney may inspire you to discover your inner artist and Kinney Kinney Clayworks would be a great place to start. People like to work here because they can learn. They're allowed to make mistakes. There's a little bit of hovering, but we typically let people learn through experimenting. If music is your thing, River Falls has several outdoor concerts throughout the warmer months. You can check out the Music in the Park series to find out who's playing at Downtown's Veterans Park. Or there's the Chill on the Hill music series put on by UW River Falls. There's also the Roots and Bluegrass Festival, where some incredible musicians play all over town. From restaurants to the grocery store, everywhere you go, there's a fabulous bluegrass band playing. It's an event the musicians look forward to as much as everyone else. Well, you know, it really struck us immediately the first year we did it as like a community event. You know, it's all the different venues all around town, from cafes to bars, restaurants, local bands, as well as bands from all over, you know, both Wisconsin and Minnesota, coming together, meet at this one spot. And it's really, it's, it feels like a family event, like a family gathering in a lot of ways. But really, you know, it represents, you know, music, roots music, but also, you know, the community of musicians that represent that in the region. And it's, yeah, we're, just, we're really happy to be involved with it. And it's like part of the family. Not only can you hear amazing music at the Roots and Bluegrass Music Festival, you can also participate in workshops throughout the downtown area. I think I'm going to go try clogging. Wish me luck. I don't know. This clogging thing doesn't seem that hard. Okay, so that wasn't really me. There's a little bit of a learning curve, but I think I did okay. <laughs> I had a great teacher and a great time in River Falls. Bluegrass Festival looked fantastic. It was awesome. Hey, what'd you think about my clogging? Oh, that was pretty impressive. And the pig calling, that <laughs> yeah! <laughs> you got to go trout fishing again. Okay. You didn't catch anything again. Well, I mean, trout fishing is really, really difficult. It's hard, it's technical, but it's beautiful. In downtown River Falls here, they've really done a great job with the river. It's gorgeous. I felt like I was in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, if you want to join us in River Falls, start your vacation planning at discoverwisconsin.com. On behalf of the entire Discover team, I'm Mariah Haberman. And I'm Colin Garrity. Get out and discover Wisconsin for yourself. All right, let me hear your best pig call. Yikes. Yeah. <laughs> information and bonus video from this episode, go to discoverwisconsin.com. And don't forget, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Discover Wisconsin Radio all across the state. <laughs>